Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudio Mir here again. Let's talk today about high vision camera, high vision in VR, and the issue with network unreachable. As you can see here, I have three cameras already connected and working. I have an Amicrest, Real Link, and Axis connecting to the NVR and working with OnViv. And I have here my high vision camera that's connected, but it's not working. So let's take a look here. When I right click, I come to the menu in camera. I see here the status for three cameras that are working, and this one it's not. When I click here, I have the message the network is unreachable. Okay, so that's my problem and I need to investigate and see what's wrong. So let's understand the basics, the connections, for example. So let me just take a look here at my NVR. As you can see, I have those four ports here that I don't have any cable connect to them, right? Let's say I connect a camera here, for example, on port number one. This port can power the camera with PoE, power over Ethernet. It can also give the camera an IP address, but I'm not using this way here. I'm using it in a different way. As you can see here, I have this cable, the LAN cable that goes to my switch here. And then from the switch, I connect a cable that goes to the router. This way I have this NVR coming to the internet as well, because the connection is from here to here and to my router that goes to the internet. Okay. And here I have a camera connected. This is my Amcrest camera and I have a power supply connected to the camera. Then I need just to connect data here. This is not a PoE port. As you can see here, I have a switch with four PoE ports. I'm using one of them to connect to my Axis camera. So I have the Axis camera. I have the Amcrest um, camera with the power supply connected to it. And here I don't have the real link camera. So where is the real link camera? You saw on the screen that I have a, a real link camera as well, right? It's not here because my real link camera is connected to the router and the router is connected here to the switch. Good idea. So connected to the router, everything that's connected to the router is going to be visible here to the NVR because the cable is coming here, right? And from here to here. So that's the idea. Let me just come back here to the NVR interface. So here we see this camera is not connected. Okay. Because I need to investigate what's wrong here. Okay. But let's come back to this later. First thing I know to show you here is come back here to the configuration menu and to network. And here I have the configuration for this NVR. So you need to understand that, right? So here is the IPv4 address. That's the IP address that I have internally uh, here for my NVR, which means that's the cable connected here or the LAN port. Okay. And then my cameras need to have this IP address 192.168.0. Something in the same IP range. If I have my cameras connected to the NVR ports, then they are gonna use this IP address 192.168.1. Something because the NVR have this IP range for those four ports here. Okay. So as long as I don't have anything connected here, I'm not gonna use this IP range here. I'm gonna use this IP range. So my cameras needs to be on this IP range. So you need to check if your camera is using 192.168.0. Something. Okay. Or if you have cables disconnected. Okay. So back here to the interface for the cameras configuration, I have this issue with the network is unreachable and I need to check cables. I need to check the IP address. As you can see here, the IP camera address is 192.168.0. Something in this case, 64. So it's correct. What's working before here. Okay. Because what I did was like connect the camera to the network, give the camera an IP address that's in the same range of the, the NVR. Okay. The LAN port of the NVR. And then it's supposed to work as long as I have cable connected. Okay. So let me just check here. Where is my cable connected? Okay. So back here to the NVR, as you can see, I don't have the high vision camera connected here because I'm not using this uh, way of connecting the camera. I'm connecting through the LAN. And here, as I told you before, I have my Amcrest camera. I have my Axis camera 
and the real link camera that's connected behind the router. But wait, I don't have my high vision camera connected to the router. Okay, so I need to check where the, the camera is connected to. I need to have the camera connected he here to the switch so the switch can power the camera on and make it work. Or if I want to use the different way to connect the camera, I could connect here, but it's not the case right now, right? And I, I need to use the connection here. So let me just connect the cable here because I see that the cable is missing. I'm gonna connect the cable here. So here we go. That's the cable for my high vision camera. I'm going to connect here on port number two. So here we go. Now I have the camera connected and I need to wait for the camera to boot up because this switch is going to send power to the camera and the camera is going to boot up, right? And as long as I have this yellow cable here connected to the lamp, okay, the NVR can find the camera here through this cable, okay? Pretty easy. Let's just come back to the NVR interface. Okay, and now here is just a waiting game. I just need to wait for the camera to boot up and then the NVR will try to communicate with the camera and then you're gonna see this status changing. So it's gonna uh, solve the problem with the network is unreachable because now my network is supposed to be reachable, okay? Let's just wait and see when the status changes here. And here you go, pretty fast, already changed it here. So when I click, now I can see my high vision camera working, okay? So no network unre is unreachable anymore. It's reachable now. Let's come back here to the interface. As you can see, I have all of the camera here connected and working. So just make sure you understand everything here okay you need to check the cables and need to check also the ip range of the camera the way you're connecting your nvr the way you are giving uh, camera uh, ip to your cameras uh, let me jo just show you something here about the camera as you can see here on my screen i have my axis camera connected to my, my network and as you can see the ip is 192.168.0.52 okay so zero something. You need to make sure your camera is connected and your, uh, the IP range is correct. So you can make sure that works here on your NVR. When you come here to menu, camera, I have here 52. That's my access camera working via OnVIF and the IP is correct, is in the range. And I have the camera connected here with the cable. So everything is working fine, everything is good. And then I have everything working here, okay? You need to pay, pay attention to the details. As you can see here, the real link takes longer to show up because it's using OnVIF and it's also connected to my router, okay? And that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next video.